Uh, today we're looking at the Unify Flex Mini and this is a small 5 port switch and uh, basically this switch works with the Unify uh, network controller which is really the advantage and, and why I would recommend using this one uh, and this one basically is a small switch that can be used in smaller areas uh, or areas where you don't have as much space uh, and uh, one of the big advantages is that this can be powered by power over Ethernet. So um, that's uh, how I am connecting it. Uh, I'm not using the, the actual power supply that comes with it. It's a USB-C power supply, uh, which is also a good thing. But in this case, uh, and, and one of the possible options for this switch for applications is where you might need a, uh, a few connections where uh, you might not have power, but then you do have uh, or will have a, an Ethernet line uh, for data, first of all, and second of all, uh, if your switch supports PoE then or, or even an injector, you can basically power uh, this switch through uh, over PoE, which again, it, it's one big advantage because you can move it around. You're not uh, restricted to a power outlet near, near it or so. So that's what it is. And again, this is just a simple switch, but the good thing about it too is that it works with the whole Unified ecosystem. Uh, so now we see it on the screen and there we have our brand new fresh uh, Unified uh, switch. Uh, it's called the US, USW Flex Mini. That's how it just brings it in into the controller. Uh, for adoption and uh, so we're going to go ahead and just once it's plugged into the network uh, it shows and then I'm going to go ahead and, and click adopt to bring it in. So we'll start with the details basically it's going to let us know this is the uplink since this is connected to a uh, secondary uh, or, or yeah secondary controller it is not reporting properly the uplink port because it's not a, uh, connected to a switch that is on the same controller. Otherwise, it will report it right there and then. And downlinks basically will report any unified devices such as access points or switches that are connected to each independent port. So clients basically will report uh, wireless users that might be, well, yeah. Uh, no, actually the physical devices or physical users that are connected directly to each of these ports. So we have nothing for right now, depending on how it's connected, which VLAN, if it's the standard VLAN or guest VLAN. And then the ports here, you know, just basically each port and we can go to the profiles and then we can change the VLAN that we want to go with. We can rename the port. We also have some profile overrides. Uh, for the port, which on this, uh, for this specific application, we don't need to uh, uh, ch make any changes. But this is basically what I use the most on my networks. Uh, I use the VLANs. In this case, you don't see anything really defined other than the old VLAN, which is the VLAN 1. And uh, configuration, basically, is just additional settings that you can change, jumbo rate, flow control, those I don't use for this purpose. Uh, DHCP, this is just basically the switch obtaining its uh, sta uh, DHCP address versus static. And here we can just basically do the upgrades uh, manually. And then we have uh, just troubleshooting uh, options and common settings. Uh, basically switch ports, but that, well, it's more of a global setting there. So that's it. Uh, that takes care of this Unify, Unify Flex Mini.